Hello and welcome back. Uh, today we are going to be starting on song number one. Uh, this is Long Long Ago by T.H. Bailey. And it's a nice, simple song that we can start this book off with. So, we do have a couple of markings for dynamics. Um, and with that, we can, uh, we, we can kind of use some roadmap markers to develop the song and uh, put um, a little bit of flavor to it. So we start off uh, Meso Forte. In measure four, we have a, well, measure three leading into measure four, we have a decrescendo. Uh, measure five, we are back to Meso Forte. Measure eight, well, seven into eight, we have a decrescendo again. We start measure nine, Forte. Measure 11, we start piano with a decrescendo, so we're going to be getting very quiet there. And then measure 13, we are back to Forte, so that will be a large dynamic change. And then we have a decrescendo in the last two measures of the piece. So, uh, let's go ahead and listen to how, how this one sounds. And then we can kind of work through it. It's a nice little two-piece, um, kind of an A-B setup. Um, and a little bit of theme and variation, or not theme and variation, but a little bit of variation within the piece uh, to give it a little bit of flavor. It's just, it's a nice little song. So, let's go ahead and uh, I'll play it first, and then we can break it down and go from there. So. <laughs> down line by line and then we can get into the variation where things do get interesting. So uh, measures one through four and five through eight are copy pasted. Basically the exact same thing uh, with a slight differentiation in measure three and measure seven. Um, there's a half note in measure three and there is a quarter and two eighths in measure seven. So uh, we can go through and basically, well, I guess measure four and measure eight are uh, a little bit different. Measure four has quarter, two eighths, and a half. And then measure eight has just a half and then a half note rest. So let's go ahead and play measures one through four. We'll take it a little bit faster since we're getting farther into this. Um, and we don't need to hammer out every individual thing over and over um, because y'all are picking up and uh, learning how to actually play the instrument and moving forward with that. So let's go ahead and do measures one through four. We'll do that a couple times, measures five through eight, and then we'll move on to the second section of the song. So one through four, mezzo forte, remember the decrescendo in the last two measures. One, two, three. <laughs> should be hitting about mezzo piano. Not a full piano, but a mezzo piano here. Um, also, my string crossings weren't exactly clean, uh, especially with a... And one of the things that you'll notice there um, is you need to be up on your the tips of your fingers, not on the faces of your fingers. Because here, as opposed to... When you are up a little bit more and on the ends of your fingers, uh, you can get in between the strings and you don't have to worry about that as opposed to. So, um, keeping that in mind, playing on the ends of the fingers, let's go ahead and play measures one through four again, keeping in mind that decrescendo. And then watching the string crossings as well. That will be facilitated by being up on the fingerboard a little bit more. So, one, two, three. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do measures five through eight. Uh, it'll be the same thing with a little bit different ending. And then measure 13 to the end. Um, we've got 
the same rhythmic thing as everything because it's all eighth notes except for the random quarter note at the end of a phrase. And we'll go from there. Um, 13, we are back to forte all the way through the end of the piece. So make sure it's nice and loud, everything rings, um, and make sure you're watching your intonation as well. So, one and two and three and... <laughs> on this, uh, just so that when we start tying everything together we can start working up to the, the full speed. One and two and three and... Okay, so let's do measure nine through the end, and then we'll work on that a little bit little bit faster pace. So measure nine, one and two and three and... Tie the first chunk in, and we'll run it at uh, we'll run it at full speed, just a little bit faster. But that will tie everything together, and then we can be done for the day. So, starting at the beginning, all the way through, pay attention to your dynamics, and let's go from there. One and two and three and. some um, practicing kind of tips, tricks, whatnot, um, to help with difficult sections or harder passages. Uh, working on a section, working on the next section, tying those together, uh, working on the next section, tying all three of those together, but you can also use it the other way, as we did here. Work on the last bar. Make sure that you can finish strong, um, and then add the bar before, you know, the line in this case, and then add the line before that so that everything ties together. So. Um, with that, uh, that wraps us up for today and the first lesson for book two. So, thank you very much for joining me, and uh, I will catch you next time.